Hello, well one of the things I really enjoy is making leather bags and in this short film I thought I'd just show you a few of my bags and also point out one or two of the little constructional aspects of making leather bags. Well leather selection is jolly important for bag making and you want a leather that's nice and firm and strong but not too heavy and you certainly can't go wrong with a calf leather and for example this little black bucket bag here is made using premium calf leather and it's a lovely supple firm very strong leather but it feels nice it holds its shape well and it's just lovely quality other bags i might use a more tough resilient leather it really depends on the service that the bag's getting but certainly calf is one of my favorite levers for bag making i do a lot of field testing on my bags and my wife is actually very helpful in that regard. She enjoys, I think, having a selection of bags. Now, the handles on these sorts of bags, I actually use pure copper saddler's rivets. And the reason of that is I like the look of them. They're nice and authentic, but also they're incredibly strong. I have tested these. I've just taken one rivet and two bits of leather, and it can take my full body weight and not shift. But it's nice when you see a bag it's been in rough service for quite a while now and it's bearing up really well so i mean the new version i do slight modifications but that's the new one so these are actually on my etsy site at the moment if you want to have a look and i'll post a link but um again nicely fitted inside with a zipper pocket inside and then what i also like to have on a bag is a key holder so you can find your keys in the dark you just pull the tang the other feature of this key holder is you can actually wrap it around a chair if you're in a restaurant click it through your loop and you actually anchor your bag to a chair or a table and it just stops someone lifting it on the sewing front people often say to me oh what sort of sewing machine do you use to make a bag and actually I use what are called needle feed machines. So these are machines where the needle pulls the slippery lever through. It actually, the needle walks along and pulls the lever through. You see they're quite quiet in operation, but they do do great stitching along the lever and they're lovely and easy to guide and get a nice quality there. I test my seams and actually on my bags I do all the seams at double seams so that they're really strong and I, I test everything to destruction because I want to be confident that if someone loads the bag with lots of heavy books it's not going to fail. This is an example of one of my smaller bags so it's just a little carrier style bag quite a nice little dainty bag again it's got a zipped top and as you go inside there's an interior zipping pocket as well I did start making bags without zips. I mean, some people actually quite like bags without zips. So I do do, for example, this one, it's a nice calf leather, plain raw leather bag. Got a zip inside it, but that's all. It's completely raw otherwise, but um, quite a nice bag. The reason most of my bags have zips is really for security. Obviously, if you've got a zip in your, inside your bag and a zip on the top, it's gonna to be far more secure from pickpockets. My handles are all rounded, so they're pure veg tan, lovely bridal quality leather, but they're actually all beveled over, rounded and stained and polished. And it just makes the bag comfortable to hold. But of course, they're really strong handles as a result. And I put my little Bucklehurst logo, hopefully you can just see that there, on the bags. And I have my Bucklehurst little stamping in the veg tan leather as well. That's nice little features. I do over the shoulder totes, and here's an example of one. Some of these I put the rivets so they're smooth on the outside and flatten them on the inside. So again, it's a zip top. And inside, more zip pockets, key carrier, bag securer. I love them. Anyway, that's me in the world of bags. I like making the bags. If you want to have a look at my Etsy shop, you can look at my bags. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.